I am a binge reader. While I don't mind reading manga week to week, very often my appreciation of the titles I consume is greatly raised by a second read-through. I rarely encounter the opposite problem, where the manga fares better when I don't binge it, but take my time with it. Well, maybe it's just my ignorance of other titles that are enjoyed better the same way as a binge, but for now, let us pretend that is not the case. So, one exception to that rule of me preferring binge reading is Tis Time for Torture, Princess. Uh, a title that joined the Manga Plus catalogue on October 7th, 2019. Drawn by Hirake and written by Robinson Haruhara. It tells the story of the titular princess and her sentient holy sword, who have both been, been captured by the Hell Horde and are now subjected to torture so that they can reveal the country's secrets. Among example of said torture being uh, giving her delicious food, playing video games with friends, uh, going to an amusement park. The comedy is based on the subversion of expectations of the torture being slice of life manga wholesome activities. It's contrasted with the hardships the princess endured uh, during her upbringing in order to become the warrior heir whose will is never bent only for said will to be bent literally every chapter. This is a very formulaic gag manga, there's no denying that. If you read one chapter, you've basically read them all. It didn't help that Manga Plus basically dropped like 24 chapters in one day. After a few cycles of repetitive jokes with only slight variations, Tis Time for Torture Princess got a bit tiring, which is why it might not have been a good marketing decision to release all of them in one go. Now, I ended up persisting and reading it week to week, and in this format, I ended up enjoying the series more, but I still am disappointed sometimes when the humour doesn't manage to surprise me past the first chapter. It remains to be seen how the manga is going to be received in the long run but I fear it might not have a lot of staying power if it doesn't go beyond its formula soon. I also keep wishing the artists were a bit more adventurous with the facial expressions, which are, well, fine. Yeah, the fine. I get that part of the appeal of the series is that everyone's so cutesy, but it would be really, uh, it would really add to the comedy if we could see some of some Oda or Boichi faces here. I do appreciate a lot of the comedy though. What really makes it work is the fact that every character in this manga is utterly incompetent, even though X berates the princess for revealing the kingdom's secrets every chapter. He does the same thing when the Inquisitor arranges for them to be groomed and sharpened, thus reversing the role as the only sane character. The Inquisitor herself appears professional at first, but it turns out she's completely oblivious to the insignificance of most of the secrets the princess reveals to her. The location of the Imperial Army's secret weapon? Okay. The king prefers boxers instead of briefs. What? How, how is that supposed to be useful? I see. So lobsters have blue blood. What? No, what? N no, no, how is that? No, th this is just a trivia contest at this point. What are you doing? What are you doing? There is a war on, you know? What? What? No! The Hell King is also an absolute softy despite his looks, and uh, will just try to look for just any reason not to invade the Empire. Anyone torturing the princess immediately becomes a friend, and the one knight in shining armor who always tries to rescue her always makes it so his rescue is accidentally creepy. So overall, Tis Time for Torture Princess is worth checking out, if only for a few chapters. Try not to read too much in one go, and you should be good. Uh, still, it remains to be seen how long the manga can stay interesting without moving out of its comfort zone.